Everyone loves a good dock. You probably have four or five lying around right now, but you need another one, don't you? Is your dock going to fit the latest handheld? Well, look no further. What I have for you today may surprise you. Seriously though, today we're looking at the Ivanki Universal Dock for handheld PCs. It's a 6-in-1 docking station that claims to work for the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and even the Legion Go. We're going to check it out and compare it to the JSOX adjustable RGB dock for the Steam Deck, the Ally, and I even have something to test with for the Legion Go, so stay tuned for that. Inside the box, we have a little care thingy and a FAQ about the Allies Turbo Mode, but this can be ignored. This was fixed by Asus with a BIOS update. Then we have the user guide booklet, a couple of pairs of analog stick caps, and then the dock itself. The dock is a nice aluminum material that feels solid, and it has a decent weight to it. It has rubber feet on the bottom to grip, and then also the entire inlay has a rubber grip as well to prevent scratching your device. The power cable should be long enough for any of the devices currently out there. Now, like I said, another universal docking station I have is the JSOX RGB dock, the model HB0801. And I'd like to compare the two today as they're pretty similar in specs. So with the Ivanki, we have three USB ports that are evenly spaced out. They can do up to five gigabits per second. Then there's the HDMI that can output 4K at 60 Hertz and the gigabit ethernet. The JSOX RGB dock seemingly has a lot more ports, but it actually doesn't. There's one spare USB-C port, then there are other two are for your power source and powering the device, and then an HDMI which is also 4K at 60 Hz, one gigabit ethernet, two USB-A ports which are sandwiched together, and then a USB 2.0 on the side. The USB ports on this have five gigabits as well. Testing both the USB and the ethernet on this, there is no issues. The build quality for the Ivanki just feels a lot nicer than the RGB dock. The viewing angle seems to be about identical on either dock. Now, the charging cable that comes with the JSOX dock is much longer, by about 5 inches, so it really sticks out, or stands out, but it seems like a much better material for heat resistance. But it also has a right angle that's parallel with the cable, which can get in the way of buttons on the top of your device, or the fans on the top of your device, so you have to consciously choose which direction you plug it in each time, which is a little frustrating. Of course, since the cable is removed you could also change it with another USB-C cable that's capable of up to 100 watts for power delivery. Next I wanted to test the HDMI functionality. I have a Samsung Odyssey G9 Super Ultra Wide Monitor and unfortunately on both docks I got the exact same results. Basically it refused to display or show the highest resolution available on this monitor which is 5120 by 1440. Now while this is not technically 4K, 5120 by 1440 is actually a lower resolution as it is less pixels to display total. So I was very surprised that I couldn't get this to work with either dock. I tried this with the Steam Deck in SteamOS as well as with the ROG Ally in Windows. Now the next thing you're probably thinking is, dude, it's your cable. Well the cable I have is rated for 8K and I use it on my PS5 all the time on a 4K TV and it works fine there. So I plugged it into my main desktop which has an RTX 3090 and I could not only enable 5120 by 1440 with this cable, but I could set it up to the max refresh rate on this monitor, which is 240 hertz. This monitor also lets me split it in half so that I can run two monitors from two different inputs at the same time. And so I ran it at 2560 by 1440, or what people commonly refer to as 1440p, and I tested this as well, and I was able to set this to 120 hertz refresh rate. So this was working fine. Then I went ahead and I tried it on my 4K TV with the Ivanki and the JSOX RGB dock and both worked at 60 Hz with no issues at 4K. So there seems to be some kind of limitation for the output resolution for Super Ultra Wide's 32 by 9 aspect ratio, which is kind of a bummer for me. Moving on, the Ivanki also claims to be compatible with the Legion Go, so I was curious how that might work out. Unfortunately, I'm not popular enough to have the Go yet. I'll have to wait until the launch date like most of everyone else, but I had an idea of how I could test this out still. I went ahead and took some images of the Go's bottom side, got the dimensions for the main unit, and made a 3D model mock-up that I went ahead and printed out. 
I have to say that it seems to fit really well, but the main concern I had was the Legion Go comes with a USB-C on the bottom. I was curious to see if the USB-C port on the bottom of the Legion Go would still be functional or able to be plugged in using either of these two docks. Unfortunately on my print, I misjudged the size of the actual USB port, so I had to scrape the plastic a bit to make the hole big enough to fit a device in, to fit a male USB-C into it. Looking at the Ivanki dock, the model sits in this dock very well, but with an external USB-C dock with a straight angle, it's just not going to work. Next I tried a flat USB-C cable, which works with the cable facing me, but not the other direction. Next, I tried the dock cable itself, and it kind of works. Maybe if I had the real device with its near two pound weight, it might sit better, but the USB-C port itself is clear of any obstructions. I would really recommend just getting a right angle adapter. I believe this one actually came with my RGB dock from JSOX that you can connect pretty much anything as long as the cable faces towards you. Next, I tried the RGB dock and it just barely holds the Go in place. The lip is just a little too short in height to catch it properly. I made this shim out of TPU for the stand and that helps it sit a little better, but with the Ivanki, you can see without this, it just grabs the Go model way better. It's not really going anywhere, but I just don't feel confident about the RGB dock to hold the Legion Go in place without this TPU shim. The RGB dock does have that right angle parallel cable, which fits perfectly fine, just the cable is insanely long. Otherwise, it's nice that the cable wraps around the back instead of coming towards you. I've linked a couple right angle adapter options in the description below. Ultimately, if I had the choice between either dock, I think I would pick up the Ivanki due to the better build quality and the compatibility. I just feel like my device is more safe using it. However, the RGB dock is a great travel option, but I don't think I could recommend it for the Legion Go without some modifications. If you haven't seen it yet, I have a full review of the RGB dock that you can check out here. The Ivanki dock is on sale right now, so be sure to use the link in the description for the discount. That's going to do it for this review of the Ivanki docking station.